Matsu, we know this name well. I'm yes. uh, interested in hearing about the story. Yes, and make the most out of whatever situation you're in is kind of the moral yeah. of it. Manny Lagos is working from home, helping run the Minnesota United soccer team. He is a part of a soccer legacy family, starring at St. Paul Academy and eventually a pro career. He's also a father of two teenage athletes, so the time off is time well spent. Absolutely against him on this finish with Walker's... It's Zimmer. supposed to be soccer season for the Minnesota United. Like much of life, it is on hold, and the team is searching for initiatives to build on its brand. You know, it's been kind of an interesting process in, in terms of, you know, we're thinking about what our future is, but also we, we've got some time to reflect as a club, and, and one of our purposes as a club, or our main purpose, is to inspire and unite the community through soccer. Manny has two sons, though, that he can help coach. MJ, a senior, qualified for the National Snowboard Competition, canceled in March because of COVID-19. It was pretty disappointing, but, like, I, I kind of went with like everybody who was like disappointed. We're like just trying to keep everybody safe. Younger brother Jack was part of a state runner-up soccer team this fall for Blake High School. Yes, another high-end Lagos soccer player. I guess I really fell in love with the game uh, kind of a couple of years ago when I really got to go out and play a lot with my friends and just became a great way to kind of spend time with friends and do something you really enjoy. So what do you do in the now mandatory off season? If you're MJ, you participate in something similar to snowboarding, the summer version, skateboarding. Mostly just practice, doing it over and over again. Like you can't just get good after like one night. Like everything is just a lot of practice and repetition. While younger brother works on his game in the front yard, proving you don't need a lot of space or a team surrounding you to hone your skills. You know, you can't really train by yourself a lot when you have a lot of games and you have a lot of practices. You don't have a lot of time to rest. And so, of course, everyone can get um, time to just do individual training, which is really important. Both of them, I say, you know, in this moment, you could either look at a glass half or a glass half empty in terms of what you do with your time. And so for my son here, you know, I, I really encourage him to work on the things that he needs to get better at. And maybe sometime in the summer, the United will be back. Building on the momentum they established in 2019 in St. Paul. So, you know, through this, I, I think we've, we as a club have found that, um, you know, there's ways we, we want to be impactful that we never really thought of. Um, and then on the flip side of it, uh, you know, it's a nice sunny day. Uh, and I feel like things are, are starting to open up and, and we want to be there when things open up for people.